Alright, hey guys, what's going on? I got a little something different today here. I've been getting a lot of mails and uh, messages and stuff like that about how to do roulette battles. So I'm just making a video right now. That way I won't have to answer any other questions or ignore people because it gets kind of old with the same stuff. So I decided I'm just going to make a video. If I can angle this real quick. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. It's good enough. Not good enough. That's good enough. Now I need to tape the freaking mic to my face so I can talk. Hold on a second. Okay, so now I got a mic taped to my face so I can actually talk to you guys and uh, actually do this damn video. So, as I said, this is about uh, how to do roulette because I'm getting a lot of messages on it and people are interested. So, this is just an interesting box right here. It's called Junk, if you noticed. You start off with nothing in your party. Uh, actually, I guess you need one just as a placeholder. And then uh, what you do is you organize your stuff in boxes either in masses like you kind of see these or organize them by like sweepers, walls, stuff like that, however you like. And then go to your empty box all the way on the left and then start and this will be considered box one so to say and box two so to say but the box number doesn't really matter all that much. All you need to be concerned about is that these are the first guys. So with roulette and you have your empty party and stuff like that you figure out, you count out how many EV trained guys, or hell, if you want to use non-EV trained, to be my guest, uh, how, how many dudes you actually have, and you count them all up, blah, 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 there's around 30, there's around 30, there's around 30, and there's a bunch of junk. So I tell guys, oh, I have around 90. So just pick six random numbers between 1 and 90, and then those six Pokemon that correspond in those spots are the six that you use. Now this is where some people get lost. They don't understand the whole like correspond to spots thing. So that's why this video is being made. As I said earlier, you start at the bo first box or whatever, and since this is the first slot, it's like reading a book. This is Pokemon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You go left to right and top to bottom. So this would be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and so on like that. And so you find the different guys that, you were, that were randomly assigned to you, and then you use those. If someone says like, 46 for for example there's I don't know 27 in here ish then you'd go into this box and count con con uh, continue that 28 29 30 blah 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 and so it would be some guy from one of those two lines if someone was to say 80 for example I'd skip all of that skip all of that and I'd pick some guy from somewhere in here wherever the number 80 happens to lie you don't need to worry about box numbers or anything like that after you figure out which one is the first one so if somebody were to say 6, then I'd use this guy. And if somebody were to say, I don't know, 60, then I'd probably go somewhere around. Actually, I'd probably end up being over here-ish. And then you end up taking those 6 guys, and you use those 6 in your battle. And you do the same thing for what they have. You ask how many they have, and uh, you count, or they count up, blah, 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 tell you how many. And uh, the mo oh yeah, the most important part if somebody gives you six numbers and let's say they give 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, you find your 10th guy, which I believe would be right here, and if it's the first number given, he has to be your start, your lead. That's all there is to it. You can't change it around if you get like a, I don't know, like a blissy lead and then you're given Weevil and Gyarados and Salamence somewhere in there as well, which are awesome leads. You can't just make the, what the hell am I doing? You can't just make whatever the hell you feel like at your lead. It has to be the first number. And that's where a little bit of trust comes in. You don't know if he's really picking those dudes that you were giving him, or if he's like, oh, I don't want to use this Galad, I'm going to use Doug Trio instead, or I'm going to use Garchomp, blah, 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 whatever. You don't know if he's actually leading what you really picked. So it takes a little bit of trust. You can't really do it with random people that aren't necessarily your friends or that you don't know all that well. So there's a little bit of eh in it. And uh, generally... You're supposed to get bad teams. You're supposed to get like six sweepers or a bunch of walls and junk like that. You're not supposed to have constructed, built teams that are going to be really good by themselves. They're supposed to be, that, That's the point of it. I mean, is to use whatever the hell you're given and figure out ways to come from that and, and all that good stuff. So, now I lost what else I was going to say. I uh, lost what else I was going to say. Damn it, I lost what else I was going to say. Anyway, um, I've also been getting a lot of messages on my cam and what cam I freaking use. Oh, where did that paper go? God, I'm so unorganized. Whatever. I found 
a little thing on like its name and junk like that. It's called the Creative Cam I Am Live Pro, something like that. I should really find the freaking manual that I totally had when I started this bloody vid. Oh, here it is. I'm an idiot. All right. The actual name, yeah, Live Exclamation Point Cam Video I Am Pro. It the uh, the main things I went for was uh 30 frames per second. That was that was key. I also didn't want to buy the cheapest cam that Circuit City had. That's where I went with Circuit City. They had deals. Best Buy was good too. So I went with uh this one. It was like I forget exactly. I think it was 30 to 40. I really don't remember, but it was the second cheapest. So I didn't go the cheapest, which is surprising for me. But I wanted to hit 30 FPS. I really dig creative. And uh, any cam from Microsoft would be good too. Just hit 30 FPS. I don't know how many megapixels I have. But uh, yeah, in short, that's how roulette works. You get your six random dudes, and uh, you go and play, and you have your roulette, and hopefully the other dude's not a douche and doesn't cheat. And uh, you're straight. Oh, I remember what I was going to say that other time. Spe yeah, like right here, there's two blissies. Species clause is void. So, like, if someone were to pick, if this was my first box and someone picked six, and then they picked 13, I think, no, not 13, uh, yeah, 13, no, not, whatever. Then if I, put it this way, if I got stuck with those two as numbers, then you have to use those two, regardless of species clause. Screw that crap. That's just both people's fault for picking the number and for having your stuff like that. So, that's why I recommend having, like, mixed boxes instead of sweepers and walls and junk like that. Otherwise, you're going to get screwed in roulette. You're going to get six walls one day and be like, oh! And, uh, Another thing, if there's a space like this, you're supposed to ask the guy for a new number, but I know most people just go to the, either the next one or the one after, whichever they like better, because it gives them an advantage, and that's kind of cheap. This is where trust comes in. So if you end up on an empty space, you're supposed to ask for a new number and have the guy give you one. If you have random Ubers mixed in and get stuck on one of those, it, like, it's the same as before. You can't just pick whatever's before or whatever happens to be after it. you got to go and get a new number from your buddy and uh that's pretty much everything if there's any other ugh, god I, I i hate to say this but if there's any other further questions then i got yeah that's an idea post it as a comment and then you guys can answer each other's questions it all should be fine so that's in summary how roulette works you find the guys they each have their corresponding number as how you read a book left to right top to bottom and uh then you use Use the guys you were given. First one is lead off. You do the same for him. Void species clause. Get new numbers when uh, you're on a hole like that. Um, they should already have items on there, but for some people, they don't have enough items or don't care to do all that junk. So uh, you have to stick them on after. But that's a little unfair for like the lead off. If he's got no item, oh, I'll give him a scarf. But uh, whatever. So that's that. Um, another reason I'm making this vid is because finals are coming up. Actually, I have a final every week for the next three weeks until the semester ends. And I have, like, I don't know, five of them. And then there's, like, four projects that are all dumped on me. So I don't know if I'll be able to make a video in the next three weeks or so. And uh, I just want to give you guys a heads up about that. I know there's three of you that are on my list. You know who you are. I'll try to find you sometime. I know one of you says that you're going to battle me this weekend. But uh, we'll see how that works out. So I'm just warning you guys there might not be a video in three weeks or so, but uh, then I'm having a semester off, woohoo, and uh, that's pretty much it guys, so keep rocking out, study hard, and uh, take it easy, I'll catch you all later, peace. Oh, who am I kidding, I can't end a video without uh, with for a few weeks without showing you my cat, oh no way, he just fucking ran, oh that sucks, I'm so cutting this part out of the video, never mind, I got him, so I can't end the video, had to show off. Oh, now he wants to run somewhere. Oh, it's too dark. You can't see. Kitty. Oh, there he goes, jumping on my bed. So, I had to uh, finish off with what is wrong with my cam? A view of my cat sitting on my bed, licking his chops. <laughs> ah, that's right. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching my vids and subscribing and all that crap. And uh, I'll make sure to catch you guys later and post more vids when I can. So, see ya. Peace.